welcome to my channel no i don't pick up baby <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel in case you are new here my name is martha and i do videos on family lifestyle and beauty today's video uh so we are going to our new apartment so uh, um by now you already know that we are moving out of our current apartment and moving into uh, a, a bigger apartment as you know because we are growing we are expecting our third baby Hallelujah. <laughs> so yeah, so we are going to check out how the apartment looks like and most importantly we are going to let in the what what do you call them handwerka so we ordered a kitchen right uh and yeah so the company or whatever are, are sending they're sending people to come and measure out the kitchen um as you know that when you rent an apartment most of the time yeah in here in germany you get a cubicle right it's an empty room you have to buy your own stuff you have to buy your own kitchen so that's absolutely what we had to do we got a, uh, we ordered a kitchen it's going to take time to get uh built but yes so there are people who are coming to measure take measurements uh obviously when you go to order a kitchen you have to have um an idea of you know how your kitchen how big your kitchen is you know it's because they need to um calculate for you how much you're going to pay for the kitchen but of course before they bring the kitchen and build it they want to make sure right so or they want to like to take the exact measurements that's what's happening today uh, we're just so jazzy with our kindergarten kids this is so good we are moving to an area where my kids will only be needing what do you call it they're going to be walking they're going to be walking to daycare that's amazing that's perfect so we are about to get there and i'm going to show you guys how the apartment looks like it's not done but we're going to share with you how it looks like so far The floor is not yet done, so they are not done repairing everything, but I'm going to show you basically how it looks like for now, and then later when we move in, we can show you guys, like, you know, the reveal, the, how it looks um, after it's done. So that's the entrance, then we have that space there so you can basically put um a garderobe like yeah you know right there then there's this wall but you can't place much behind because there's the door 
Let's maybe there. Maybe that space. Because it won't block the door. Okay. So, then, let me do it like this. So when you enter, straight ahead is the kitchen. Let me take you guys there. You see? That's how you get a kitchen. The, we come out. The gas system makes sense. The gas system. Yeah. Think about it. Okay. About just what's the same design. So then you have to measure out. We go to IKEA. We bought last year. We bought them at Bal So Sofas. Yeah. Okay. So the kitchen looks like this. I think you get a better feel of how the kitchen looks like when the kitchen has been brought in which is going to take time unfortunately then there's this door right here separating the kitchen from the dining area so there is the dining area oh my goodness it's huge babe can't we place the nini over there the fridge anyway we'll know there one one side and then the mesa so it will look your TFA, your wall, from wall to, okay, so, yeah, so from the dining area, you go to the living area. We have lots of uh, light, we have a lot of natural light, as you can see. There is the door to the balcony, <laughs> amazing, and more windows, and more windows, my goodness, right? So I love I'm loving the floor. This is exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. So this is that's the living area. I feel like it's spacious enough. So then there's this door, right? That that was the dining area, right? So this way there's this door, which is uh, almost a double door, which you don't really even need as much. But, so, that's the hallway to the rooms. Entrance, kitchen, living area, entry, a uh, hallway to the living area. So, if you go this way, we have a storage room. Of course, there are no lights. Storage room. Then there's one bathroom with a toilet and a shower. That's how that looks like. There we go. Then on my left is one bedroom. Looking that way, that way, that way, that way. So we are hoping that we can be able to bring our closet the one that we have on that side it fits it fits exactly on that space but we are still to find someone to uh, move it for us to move it for us and to build it because we don't want to take risks all right so let's move on the next room is another bedroom right here it has this window and that window and that door that leads you to the balcony number two, right? And the space is spacious enough. Then back to the hallway on my right, there is the bathroom. This is the main bathroom with uh badavana with what is badavana 
yeah with the bathtub and this is the shower and that and a toilet and behind it we would have space for the washing machine and the dryer like sitting next to each other okay yeah unfortunately it doesn't have um, a window but we are going to add as many, as much lighting as possible another thing i love about it is that it has tiles unlike the one that we are in it had it has tiles all over right so back to the hallway the last room of this place is another bedroom the floor looks a little bit different from the rest of the place but it is basically looking fresh it looks good so there is the last bedroom and it has the door remember the, the other door from the other bedroom then there's this door as well to the same balcony number two that i mentioned earlier and that's it guys that is basically the four room uh, apartment that we are going to move into this is going to be our new bedroom ha, ha. guys i'm back with an update so we were so angry that we i forgot to continue vlogging so what happened is the people who were supposed to like take measurements of the kitchen did not appear we waited so long we tried calling them nobody could reach them i can't imagine because the longer it takes for them to come and take those measurements the longer it's going to take for them to deliver our kitchen it's going to first of all we are moving there meet in the mid of may right mid may and uh the original arrangement was that we were going to we were going to get the kitchen by mid june yeah because at the moment you have to wait long enough let me tell you guys if you're planning to move if there's no kitchen in the house you're getting into all the apartment i'm telling you go and plan a kitchen order a kitchen at least three months prior so we ordered the kitchen they were supposed to take the measurements we were supposed to get the kitchen mid-june but the longer they take to take the measurements probably that's as long as we are going to wait for them to come and deliver our kitchen do you understand so it's really annoying it's so annoying that they didn't come nobody called that's really strange it's such things really happen here i don't know or rather it has never happened to me that something as official as that uh did not end up oh thank you the guy was waiting for me to pass uh something as official as that just didn't happen without no excuse anyway so we have well jay has made contact with them and they said they're going to make uh, another appointment to measure the kitchen as soon as possible so let's just stay hopeful that's what that's the update so guys i'm going to update you when they come next so i guess that's where this vlog is going to continue and i'm going to tell you how long we waited for the new appointment crazy right Oh my hey. life. Oh my hey. life. Hey. Oh my life. Oh my life. Oh my life. Update. <laughs> so it's update time. After the day that they did not the the kitchen people did not come to measure out the kitchen, they called back. They called back like 2 days after very apologetic they were like the person who made the appointment with me fell sick and forgot to inform the others the colleagues that he had made an appointment to come measure out the kitchen so 
the guy was quite apologetic and he said that he's uh, making a new appointment with me and he made out one with us as fast as possible we went to the appointment very early i think then very early the next morning he was well a very serious guy so um you know we just let him he in and let him do his measuring as we took as we also took measurements of the things that we needed to consider getting That's what At this point, we have not yet moved in, neither have we been officially been handed over the apartment. So every time any work has to be done in the apartment, or rather we need the apartment, we have to ask the caretaker for the key. So it's stressful to, you know, when you make an appointment and it, they don't come. As you can see, the rest of the floor, they have really come far, 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 far. They are done with the floor. They've taken out the old floor that was, uh, uh, you know, sitting at the balcony. Yeah, so Jay and I took the time to take the measurements of the windows so we can get the curtains and the rollers and the plissés, whatever else we need. Yeah, so basically, um, you know, we let the guy just do his job. We measured out all the things that are critical. You know, there are some things when like you move in into a place, like you can't stay with uncovered windows can you though <laughs> you know because everybody like you can see how many windows and doors there are so the moment it's evening and the lights are on people can see you from outside and you need some kind of privacy it's especially the bedrooms like the rest of the rooms can wait if we must but like the bedrooms need uh, some privacy so we measured out some of those places so we can get the things that we need when we're moving in this place is huge you can see the apartment is quite huge so we are going to take time for us to settle in properly get all the things that we need but you know slow by slow we are going to to manage so the most important thing is to make sure that we organize the moving the moving out and in first and then slowly you know uh settle in so yeah i hope you guys are enjoying so far uh, of course the next vlog will be like packing up stuff and organizing the moving so um if you like this series definitely give this video a thumbs up and you know tell me that in the comment section give me some motivation I definitely share with uh someone who is interested in um you know this moving series it is there's there's enough to learn there's enough to learn it's a whole experience moving out and moving in here in germany so yeah thank you so much for following and i will see you guys on my next video bye